From historic Temple Square in Salt Lake City, we welcome you to Music and the Spoken Word with the Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square. Conducting today's program is Mac Wilberg with organist Linda Margins and the Spoken Word by Lloyd Newell.
In a recent newspaper article, lawyer and former Major League Baseball Commissioner Faye Vincent, now in his 80s, quoted the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We all have our own list of things we should have done but haven't yet. Vincent described one on his list, an all too common act of omission. To my great regret, he wrote, I left undone the simple act of telling two superb teachers how much they contributed to my early education. Now it is too late. Most of the good things we accomplish and the blessings we now enjoy can be traced back to the influence of someone else, a parent, teacher, neighbor, colleague, or friend. And yet, how often have we thought to thank that person and then forgotten or pushed the thought aside? Days and months turn into years and our gratitude is left unexpressed. Then, if we continue to put it off, it becomes too late. When you think of people who have touched your life, who comes to mind? No matter how long ago it happened, now is the time to express your thanks. We often have no idea how such expressions will be treasured. One teacher has a box for all the letters she has received from former students. She calls it her kudos box. It contains over 30 years worth of notes of appreciation. She just can't throw them away. When she needs a lift, she opens the box and reads a few notes. Just looking at the box makes her smile and feel a little better. She'll tell you that it has kept her going over the years. Sometimes a personal visit is the best way to say thank you. Sometimes a handwritten note, letter, or even email is especially powerful because it can be read over and over again and treasured throughout the years. However we choose to do it, what's important is to make sure that this thing which we ought to have done, thanking the influential people in our lives, is never left undone. Thank you.
Today's performance continues the 92nd year of this historic program. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you, this day and always.